Okay, what we're seeing in front of you is a uh, rough green snake. Not really well, actually, it's very common here in the South Mississippi, but because they're so secretive, they live in trees and bushes, and they are so green, you hardly ever see them. Um, this one here is most likely a female. Uh, she has been picked up by what we think were dogs. We can actually see some injuries along her skin in several places. Um, because she is so small, it's difficult for me to know exactly how bad the damage is done to her spine. But she has moving her tail, or her tail has some movement. Uh, there are probably seven plus viable eggs inside of her. Uh, the people that uh, have been talking to me about this snake here for the past several days, or a week plus, have had this snake in their yard for the last ten years. So this is a, a ten plus year old green snake. Um, that's probably the second or the third largest that I've ever seen. Uh, anyway, so, uh, we have some nerve deficits back here. A little reactive there, a little reactive here. But when it comes to this stuff back here, it's next to nothing. Anyway, um, so I need to contact the client and decide whether or not she wants to try to raise this girl for a little bit longer in captivity. Uh, hopefully get the eggs out and uh, and preserve some of her progeny for the next 10 or 12 years or um, Put her out of her misery and have her put to sleep. So anyway, the client's got some decisions to make I personally would like to keep her for a bit longer and see how she does these guys don't do well in captivity Especially after they have been in the wild But they're insect eaters lizard eaters and if you can get them to feed they actually do pretty well um, All right that's this case for now. Later.